It all has been war economy. Of course, there was a time when Goma was doing quite well. During the night, they just ambushed people. Whether you give money or not, they're gonna kill you. Why don't we have roads? Why don't we have? Why don't we have? Why don't we have? The pillaging of my country's resources. It's the epicenter of everything that is happening. The adult man you become in your life, being a good guy, or you can be a bad guy. And I think I have been both. Fidelba Filemba philosophy is critical thinking. I'm creating an activist movement. I would start teaching people that you can question things. Not my imams who would be waging war or scrambling for natural resources, raping, killing. No, people who gonna make irons, cement, roads, toothpicks. We're probably the richest country on this planet, but still we can make even budgets, and we're gonna import them from China. This is sugar, and we're importing it from Thailand, from India. And these are things we should be able to be making in our country. We have very rich, fertile land, but not being exploited. And that's Congo mayhem, unfortunately. We have come to a point that we cannot really blame it all on the Belgian because half a century. After colonization, I think we should be able to have done something if we were a true nation. This is where we're having the first ever critical thinking school. Congolese have never been initiated to any questioning. If you question whatever was said, oh my God, you would be taken to jail. That was try. So we're gonna change that cycle. We're gonna show people that you can question your father's speeches, you can question the preachers, the churches, things like that. Not destroying them. I'm not calling for that. But we want to be making self-determined decisions. I tell my children, 